Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning. My name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary, and I will be sharing your word for the day. Today we are in James 4, 6 through 10, and we see James speaking about pride versus humility. We all deal with pride in some area of our life, and we need to continue to work on it so that we stay humble, teachable, obedient, and open to God's correction, love, and grace. Pride means we are in opposition of God. Pride leads to destruction. Pride can hurt others. Pride can deceive us. Pride can cause poison in our hearts. And pride can make us feel better than others. But humility is often characterized as genuine gratitude, a lack of arrogance, and a modest view of oneself. True humility is seeing ourselves as we truly are, fallen in sin and helpless without God. Humility draws us close to God. Humility leads to God's grace. Humility is not weakness. Humility takes strength. Humility can allow healing. Humility keeps us teachable. Humility leaves space for mercy and grace towards others. Humility shows God's love to others. Let's read James 4, 6 through 10 together. It says, And he gives grace generously, as the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up in honor. First, we see that God gives grace generously. He opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. We all need God's grace, and we should also give that grace and mercy to others. We need to stay humble before God with an open heart to his word, spirit, and truth. A way we live in humility before God is seeking him to be obedient to him in all areas of our life. Obedience is an act of worship. It shows our love to God. It builds and demonstrates our faith. And God will bless you for being obedient. To resist temptation, we need to be close to God, which requires humility, which requires us to surrender to God and let him lead us. Temptations will come, as we all know, so we need to be ready to resist and fight them off so that we stay obedient to God. And when we sin, we need to repent and ask God for his forgiveness and to change us and to renew us. Have someone in your life help you with accountability and transparency. Sometimes we need outside assistance with that process of obedience. And that is where accountability can come in. You can also attend things like Celebrate Recovery, a 12-step, or join a life group. We don't want to stay in our sin. We want to turn away from it. So let's take time today to do a pride check. Also, let's take a look at our life. And if there's any area of sin that we are struggling with, I want to encourage you to lay it down today. Take time to repent and ask God for forgiveness and to help you so that you do not continue in that sin. Bring in accountability and live out transparency God loves you so much, and when you follow His will and His way, your life will be filled with more joy, more hope, more love, and more peace. Thank you for listening to our word for the day. Our staff at Calvary are grateful for each of you, and we look forward to worshiping with you this week. Have a great day.